YouTube. So today we're going to do a posing review of Sam Wilson, Captain America. Let's get posing. So today we'll try something new. We'll still do poses as usual, but through these poses I'll talk to you a bit about what I think about the figure, especially articulation and the options you get posing. As you can see, in these stoic poses I started showing the head articulation first. First we had tilt up, now I'm showing the tilt down with Sam Wilson looking at a shield. And this is where you can really see the added benefit of having a separate head from the neck. You do have to take into account though that the neck doesn't have a free range of motion because the material of the suit kind of restricts the movement of the neck a bit. But as you can see, you also have a head tilt. And I tried to show that off by using this ready for action pose. But even here I didn't fully use the head tilt so I went for another pose where Sam Wilson kind of shrugs off like a direct hit to the head or something. As you can see, the head tilt is further than before um, and I used the open hand which is a pretty cool addition to the set of hands you get with Sam Wilson. So here I could show off the range of the head tilt but the pose didn't quite work so after that I used the fist just like I did in the Battle Angel leader pose where she shrugs off a hit. Um, I don't think it 100% portrays what I wanted to portray but at least it also shows off the double jointed elbow, which you really need for some poses like this salute over here. Because of course, he's still Captain America, so he's an army guy. And I guess army guys need to be able to salute, right? To get this pose, you'll need to micro adjust the shoulder a bit, um, or else you'll wrinkle the suit too much. But um, I don't think you can prevent the wrinkles in the elbow. So maybe not do this one if you want to keep the suit really pristine. So this pose is a bit safer. Um, I clip the shield onto the back. You get a little plastic hook to do that. And the shoulder is a bit lower and the elbow isn't bent as much as the previous pose. I really like the combination of the closed fist and the open hand and the shield on the back looks pretty cool. You do need like a rotating base or a mirror to fully appreciate the shield being there. So going from the salute to the previous pose, I extended the elbow even more, which kind of makes this a safer pose than the previous two, as long as you micro adjust the shoulder enough. To be honest, I think something's still off in this pose, and I think I either needed to rotate the hips a bit more and have the back foot off the floor, or just go for a deeper stance and extend the elbow even more. But hey, you live and you learn. So after that, I wanted to visit the legs um, and I still wanted to use the fisted hands and the open hand. Um, and I did this atypical running pose. And I say atypical because this is not the classic one leg outstretched and the other knee up and then juxtapose the arms. This has sort of a weird angle and it has to do with the terrain being uneven. And I like that even though this is a correct pose, it kind of throws you off. Now, this is a classic running pose. And I think in poses in general, but especially these kind of running poses, creating beautiful lines is what you're aiming at. So you start out with the basic rule of movement. When the right leg is forward, the left hand is forward. After that, you twist the torso so it follows up the hand. And after that, you just try to create a fluent curve between the upper body and the foot of the extended leg. And try to look at it from different angles to see if you like it. Now, from this running pose, it was really easy to transition into a shield throwing pose while running. So instead of going forward, I just needed the front hand to bend like it actually threw the shield and the legs could just stay in the exact same position. It was just a matter of getting the shield to look like it's being thrown. So I used the extended red wing pull and used some metal wire. You really just have to decide for yourself if there's a specific angle where you don't want the metal wire to be seen, which is a lot easier for photography of course. To get back on topic, the running pose was the first pose to explore the articulation of the legs, but of course then I needed to see if he could do a crouching pose. 
When I took Sam Wilson Captain America out of the box the first time, I actually thought that he would need some modding to be able to do a crouching pose. But as you can see, he can do just fine. So to do the crouching pose, I did pull up his pants a bit. So I just took his feet off, his shin guards off. I pulled up the shins a, a small bit. It's not that much, not as much as with Captain America. And I think he looks quite natural doing this. Now, out of the crouching pose came a couple of other poses, like the happy red wing pose. And of course, the hind behind the shield pose. I think it says something about the articulation of a figure if it can pull off a crouching pose this naturally. A lot of times with figures doing a crouching pose, at certain angles it kind of looks a bit weird, either the left leg or the right leg or the flex on the hips, um, but Sam Wilson Cap pulls it off awesomely. Even little things like the shin guard and the right ankle tilt and the left ankle extension make it look naturally. Now, if you can do a crouching pose, then of course the ground pound pose is right around the corner. As some of you may know, I kind of have this love-hate relationship with this pose. Because on the one hand, the pose really doesn't make any sense. And if you have a figure that can't really pull it off, it's kind of gimmicky because you have to photograph it from just the right angle. But if a figure can pull it off, it does look badass. Let me know down in the comments below if you think Sam Wilson, Captain America can pull it off. Because if it can pull that off, I think, then we'll also have to agree that it's a very poseable figure, right? And now that we have possibility figured out, let's add those wings. These wings are so well engineered and poseable, and they give you so many options that I just had to do a posing showcase on a bit of music. So let's go. What happened to the Flag Smash When did the government make it Captain America? We finally have a common struggle now. I'm a black man carrying the stars and stripes. What don't I understand? Every time I pick this thing up, I know there are millions of people out there who are going to hate me for it. And I'm still here. No super serum. No blonde hair or blue eyes. The only power I have is that I believe we can do better.
hope you like that. Let me know in the comments down below if you like the combination with a musical posing showcase and a regular one. But this is not the end yet. I still have a few poses left and I'll use those to give my opinion on the figure. And I think you already know what my opinion is. But anyway, um, even though I didn't like the suit initially when I saw it in the TV series, I really dig this figure. It's very poseable. It has a decent amount of hands. They didn't skimp out on that. Um, you get the iconic shield. The shin guards are awesome. And the wings are so dope. I guess the only downside, if you even call it a downside, is that it's so big. If you use the wings, it will take up a lot of real estate. But because of that, I spent the majority of the video on poses without these wings. Don't get me wrong, if you have the space to use the wings, use the wings, they're awesome. Um, one thing, I would not try to use the original base with the wings, because the original base is kind of flimsy. Um, the grabber doesn't really connect to the pole well, even if you screw it all the way down. Um, so just use another base. It will feel way sturdier that way. Well, that being said, this has been the last pose of the video. So please let me know if you like this format. Please hit the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell. It really helps to grow the channel. Also, I will be doing a giveaway for Star Lord soon. So um, pay close attention to the channel. So I hope you found some inspiration for your poses. And as always, never pose beyond your comfort level. But keep posing everyone.